endocrine disorders of the parathyroid glands. So the parathyroid glands are embedded on the posterior surface of the lobes of the thyroid glands. So you see them right here and right here, these two little nodules. So they secrete parathyroid hormone and they regulate calcium and phosphate levels in the body. So hyperparathyroidism, primary hyperparathyroidism occurs when there's a hyperplasia or adenoma in one of the parathyroid glands. Secondary is a compensatory response to chronic hypocalcemia. An example of this is what can happen with chronic uh, renal failure. Many patients are asymptomatic. When manifestations do occur, they are related to hypercalcemia and various musculoskeletal, renal, or GI manifestations. Bone reabsorption can result in pathological fractures. Elevated calcium levels alter neural and muscular activity. This can result in muscle weakness and muscle atrophy, emotional disorders, dysrhythmias, and hypertension as well as GI effects such as abdominal pain, constipation, and anorexia. They may also experience kidney stones and polyuria due to renal tube alterations. Hyperparathyroidism is diagnosed by excluding all other possible causes for the hypercalcemia. This includes a six month history of manifestations Lab analysis will be performed on serum calcium and PTH levels. Treatment focuses on decreasing the elevated serum calcium levels. If it's mild, they're going to encourage the patient to drink fluids and keep active to help bones absorb calcium. They're going to avoid immobility, thiazide diuretics, and large doses of vitamin A and D, as well as antacids containing calcium and calcium supplements. If it is severe, it requires hospitalization and intensive treatment of IV saline to promote hydration. Some short-term medications which inhibit bone reabsorption and reduce hypercalcemia may be added such as Fosamax and Zometa. These can be used to provide, promote bone density by stimulating the bones to reabsorb calcium, thus decreasing the plasma calcium levels and providing relief of bone pain. Calcitonin is going to be that hormone produced by the thyroid gland. This decreases plasma levels of calcium by inhibiting bone reabsorption and increasing calcium excretion by the kidneys. Reabsorption is the process by which osteoclasts break down bone and release minerals. This results in a transfer of calcium from bone to the blood. Other treatments can include surgery, and that is indicated when the parathyroid glands are affected by hyperplasia or adenoma. The preoperative and postoperative nursing care of the patient having surgery of the parathyroid gland is essentially the same as that for the patient having a thyroidectomy. Manipulation of the thyroid during removal may also result in TH release, causing increased cardiac rate and stroke volume. Then it's very important for you to review the manifestations and treatments for hypercalcemia for these patients. Hypoparathyroidism results from abnormally low PTH levels. This can be related to damage or removal of the parathyroid glands during a thyroidectomy or related to a lack of circulating PTH causing hypocalcemia and an elevated blood phosphate level. So low calcium levels cause changes in neuromuscular activity affecting peripheral motor and sensorial nerves. So when you're thinking about your low calcium levels, I want you to think about those signs of tetany that we reviewed in the fluid and electrolytes chapter. So we're going to have trostic sign and trousseau sign, possibly laryngeal spasms, convulsions, or muscle spasms. 
and they could have some neuropathies around their mouth or in their fingertips. Other indications that are going to be brittle nails, hair loss, and arrhythmias. Hypoparathyroidism is diagnosed by low serum calcium levels and high phosphate levels in the absence of renal failure, an absorption disorder, or a nutritional disorder. BUN and creatinine will not be elevated if hypoparathyroidism is present. The treatment includes giving supplemental calcium such as IV calcium gluconate in an acute setting, and that is if tetany is present. Otherwise, they're going to increase dietary intake levels and vitamin D. And make sure that you're reviewing hypocalcemia, so the, the management, including the manifestations and the treatment for hypocalcemia. And that is all for disorders of the parathyroid glands.